Welcome to Good House 1968. I'm Brother White, and what I do is read and interpret from the Tanaka, the Hebrew Bible. It's the original version from which the King James Version was interpreted, the original scrolls. I have some commercial announcements, and then I'll go into the program. Excuse me. If you need a Bible, you can give me a call at 312-925, excuse me, 9887, or email me at Automotive at hotmail.com, and I'll send you a Bible. If you need auto body supplies and parts and vehicle parts, go to partsautomotive.biz. That's parts, P-A-R-T-S, automotive.biz, B-I-Z, dot B-I-Z. If you need trampoline parts and supply, call trampoline parts and supply, 877-934-2706. Need auto or home insurance? Call Mondris American Health Insurance Services, 855-993-0667. Looking for different products to market or sell at your online store or business? Call Sales Nexus, 855-781-1788. Looking for small business solution software for your business? Call SOG Software, 855-980-3003. Looking, uh, looking for communication services or an 800 number for your business? Call Jive Communications, 855-450-5337. Been injured in an automobile accident or work injury accident? Call Step Hocker Law Firm. 888-439-3370. Need, uh, looking to attend a college or university or need to go to school overseas or you just want to go to school overseas, call the National Education Center, 866-947-9784. Need of credit repair, got low credit scores, can't get a loan, any type of financing. Call Credit Repair at 888-855-3560. Need an 800 number for your home or business? Call Ring Central or for communication services. 877-590-6374. Interested in attending the Learning Care Group? Uh, uh, interested in attending La Pete Academy? Excuse me. The Learning Care Group School. Call 877-915-6850. That's it for my commercial announcement. And now going to the lesson. Okay, we're at Exodus chapter 7, and it goes to say, But Adonis said to Moshe, I have put you in the place of God to Pharaoh, and a whore on your brother will be your prophet. You are to say everything I ordered you, and a whore on your brother is to speak to Pharaoh and tell him to let the people of Israel leave his land. But I will make him hard-hearted, even though I will increase my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. 
Pharaoh will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring my armies, my people, the sons of Israel, out of the land of Egypt with great acts of judgment. So this is God saying he will deliver great acts of judgment upon the people of Egypt. Then when I stretch out my hand over Egypt and bring the people of Israel from among them, the Egyptians will know that I am Adonah. Moshe and Aharon did exactly what Adonah ordered them to do. Moshe was eight years old and Aharon eighty-three when they spoke to Pharaoh. Moses was eighty years old and Aharon eighty-three. Adonah said to Moshe and Aharon, When Pharaoh says to you, Perform a miracle, tell Aharon to take his staff and throw it down in front of Pharaoh, so that it can become a snake. Moshe and Aharon went into Pharaoh and did this as, uh, as Adonah had ordered. Aharon threw down his staff in front of Pharaoh and his servants, and it turned into a snake. But Pharaoh in turn called for the sages and sorcerers, and they too, the magicians of Egypt, did the same thing, making use of their secret arts. Each one threw down his staff, and they turned into snakes. But a horn staff swallowed up theirs. Nevertheless, Pharaoh was made hard-hearted, and he didn't listen to them as Adonah had said would happen. Adonah said to Moshe, Pharaoh is stubborn. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning when he goes out to the water. Stand on the river bank to confront him. Take in your hand the staff which was turned into a snake, and say to him, Adonam of the God of the Hebrews sent me to you to say, Let my people go so that they can worship me in the desert. But until now you haven't listened. So Adonah says, This will let you know that I am Adonah. I will take the staff in my hand and strike the water in the river, and it will be turned into blood by good. The fish in the river will die, the river will stink, and the Egyptians won't want to drink water from the river. Good said to Moshe, say to Aharon, Take your staff, reach out your hand, over the waters of Egypt over their rivers, canals, ponds, and all their reservoirs, so that they can turn into blood. There will be blood throughout the whole land of Egypt, even in the wooden buckets and stone jars. Moshe and Aharon did exactly what good had ordered. He raised the staff, and in the sight of Pharaoh, his servant struck the water in the river, and all the water in the river was turned into blood. The fish in the river died. The river stank so badly that the Egyptians couldn't drink its water. There was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. But the magicians of Egypt did the same with their secret arts, so that Pharaoh was made hard-hearted and didn't listen to them. As good as said what happened, Pharaoh, has, Pharaoh just turned and went back to his palace without taking any of this to heart. All the Egyptians dug around the river for water to drink because they didn't drink the river water. Seven days after Good had struck the river, Good said to Moshe, Go into Pharaoh and say to him, Here is what Good says. Let my people go so that they can worship me. If you refuse to let them go, I will strike, strike all your territory with frogs. The river will swarm with frogs. They will go up, enter your palace, and go into your bedroom or to your bed. They will enter the houses of your servants and your people, go into the ovens and net bowls. The frogs will climb all over your people and your servants. So these are the, the disgusting plagues upon the Egyptians made by good to set free the Hebrew slaves or the Israelites. That is my ministries for today, and I'm going to say a prayer, and I'll be leaving you. Good, I petition you that you touch the hearts of the brothers and sisters who listen to me, and give them understanding as is needed in order to interpret your word. Give them the truth and wisdom. Uh, bless them in their efforts, and enable them to learn that they can't read. Enable them to be able to read. 
give them insights and wisdom. And I Contra, pray this in the name of your son, Yeshua. Amen. Please leave a message after the tone.